Roswell Flight Test Crew here at AMA Expo 2015 hanging out with Robert from the Society of Aerospace. Well, they had a cool little product here and... Yeah, this is a product that we have over here. It's called Next. And I'd like to take credit for this over here, but I can't. This has actually been in development for quite some time from a gentleman out of Germany named Klaus Eiperly. And I hope I'm not butchering his name there. Now, I had a challenge looking for simulator software that runs natively on a Macintosh. And when I found this, I've given up on pretty much everything else out there just because it's uh, ease of use and easy to boot. It's a fantastic simulator. Now, aside from the Mac, that's not the part that caught my attention. The fact that caught my attention is, is that this is a professional rig with a secondary controller which controls the camera so you can do as a team practice, which is really something I haven't seen before. It's a unique feature. So this was a, pretty much a helicopter-only system that he had on there. And as we worked through together, I asked for some implementation of uh, multi-rotors. So you can see that we have an octocopter and there's a quadcopter. And I believe it is unique to this software, which does give you the controller of a second uh, USB controller. You could use any of your standard USB SIMs. You could use any of the cables on your own personal controller with the buddy box port on the back and it allows you to fully control the gimbal and you can calibrate that to what you would do on a real set. So you can get real life practice on a simulator. Now, I, I noticed you've got a, a kind of a city scene here with cars and whatnot. Can you import your own uh, information? Let's say you had a, a set you're designing, import the set so you can practice before you fly? Absolutely. So one of the things he's opened up to this here is that if you do take sort of a cube photograph, you could do a 2D environment, where it's really great for sort of set design and uh, location scouts. But if you're familiar with uh, 3D software applications like Blender, you could create, this was created in Blender. So you could create your own sets and you could really mimic an entire studio scene or entire set to really get real life practice on with that. That's amazing. Well, let's take a look at it and see. Yeah, please. So I'm here with Tony Wilson, my co-pilot. Why don't you tell us about your background? I'm a local 600 cinematographer. I actually started on the ground before I started up in the air as a camera operator. I am a member of the Society of Aerial Camera Operators, which is Robert, and we're just promoting safety and training. We're going to try flying this thing around and get some uh, shots here of this uh, nice little car on the screen we got here. See if we can coordinate. Oh, I like the open wheels in the front. That's kind of cool. This is something definitely a team should definitely get. Yeah, and they should coordinate. So I'm flying it as if I was the camera person also, which is probably screwing you up because I'm, well, okay. I'm putting the nose toward the target. That's okay. Just distinctively. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So I don't have to, I could just put it anywhere, more, you anywhere I want. You handle the rest. Yeah, so yeah. I'll just do this. I can just fly around the car that way and you've got the camera, which makes my job a lot easier actually. Yeah. How, would you, how would you assess Brian's potential as a uh, partner in aerial cinematography? He's passed. He's okay. passed. I, I He's passed. passed. He's got his wings. You're clear to go. Clear you to go. You can film with me on any set, any time. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Tony P, for showing us how it's done here. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Had a great time. It's fun. Anyway, this is uh, Roswell Flight Test Crew, AMA Expo 2015, signing off. Are you going back to Area 51? Maybe. Let's go. Cool.